Hello, and welcome back to the record store. Uh, this is the season two premiere. Uh, I'm Toby Logan, and I'm joined by Owen Cummings. Hi, guys. How you doing? And uh, we're also joined by a guest today, uh, Thomas Maggart. Hello. Today, we're going to be covering uh, the new Kanye West album, Donda. Uh, but I, I just got to say, I'm, I'm really excited to be back here. It's, it's, it's Yeah. <laughs> I hope this starts a trend of getting people, uh, like guests, on the podcast. Because I know we had a an episode planned um, last year uh, for Roadrunner by Brockhampton, um, which had a guest, but that didn't end up happening. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, guests guests are uh, have have proven to be pretty fun to work with. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're really excited to have Thomas on today. Uh, Thomas, would you like to do a bit of a more formal introduction? Yeah, um, I'm Thomas, a uh, junior in broadcasting, and I'm excited to be here. I'm a big Kanye fan, and so I had high hopes for the album, and I have a lot to say about it. So, yeah. And that's why I'm scared today, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joined by two enormous... Kanye fans, and here I am with very minimal knowledge of his back catalog. Um, so I'm hoping to be the one who like settles any arguments and or starts them. Um, so this this is going to be really fun for me. Yeah, um, uh, I've been a fan of Kanye for like a a while. I'm a pretty big Kanye fan, uh, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, I remember, I remember on the last on the last album when Toby and I were freshmen, and he dropped the album, and I remember like just coming to class and talking to him the next day. So, yeah, yeah. Thomas and I have somewhat of a history with Kanye. Was that the Christian yeah. album? Yeah, it was the Christian. Yeah. Oh was. boy. Okay. Jesus is King. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I remember hearing a lot about that one, but again, this shows my knowledge of that's all I've pretty much. I just refer to it as the Christian one, um, but yeah, yeah I think I think we were talking before the show. Um, we got a lot a lot riding on this. Not only is this the premiere, but I think everyone who's heard this has opinions on it, and yeah, yeah. I think that might be the first thing that I say really about the album itself is I don't have very strong opinions about the album as a whole, but I have very strong opinions on each song within the album. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it as a whole, but I, the songs that I like, I like, and the songs that I don't, I do not. Mm. Uh, but, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, um, Number one, I'm definitely gonna get my feelings hurt by Owen. <laughs> and and number two, I feel like this album is a lot harder to rate. And I don't know if it's just because like of how recent it is, or there might be just like something about this album which it's kind of hard for me to put together a rating as a whole, and that's why my rating keeps changing a lot. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Like I feel like for me my Kanye opinions kind of change like all the time um and I I personally feel like this album and not to like get too deep into our our thoughts on this one I feel like this record kind of has like a lot of different sounds and stuff like that coming into it so it's kind of it's it's harder to rate as like a full on album and it kind of just depends on like your personal taste that day um and like what you want to listen to at the time but it, yeah so so um Owen I've been super curious what did you think of this album <laughs> well first of all you know it wouldn't be record store without me going into the background oh right how could I forgot uh, <laughs> but uh, so if you're like me and needed a refresher on who Kanye is other than his meme status um he was born in Atlanta, um, and I think he grew up in Chicago. Um, 
but he so he started out always kind of as a rapper singer um first album was the college dropout in 2004 which was a pretty big smash um he followed that up with uh graduation um no 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 no. late registration late registration that's it um uh i think everyone knows i I even knew my beautiful dark twisted fantasy um and then yeezus which founded the shoes right That, that was what that was that's that's where i know that one from um life of pablo uh is it just yay is the one from 2018 is that how you pronounce Uh, it yeah okay and then jesus is king um so he has been around he's produced a lot of music um i think the first thing i heard of his was the four or five seconds song with paul mccartney and rihanna Um, which is a great song like i did i kind of hated it at first um and then i was like you know what this is actually pretty good and then i realized man i was wrong i was a dumb kid um but yeah so he's got a lot of brands um and he, he's kind of found a niche in really every part of the entertainment industry. Uh, and he was, uh, he ran for president. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Um, anyway, that's my little biography about Kanye West going through his discography. Um, yeah, all right. Music time. Yep. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a long one. Um, which I guess is my first thought. Is this album is an hour and 40 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> I know we talked in the Sufjan Stevens episode about 80 minutes of Sufjan Stevens feeling long, but 100 minutes of Kanye West. Um, like Pink Floyd's The Wall is shorter than this album. I think we need to have a talk about how long albums are allowed to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, no. Uh, this album is very long. <laughs> like, uh, Ex- yeah. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Especially because his last album before this was 29 minutes, and I think the one before that was like 25 minutes or yeah, something. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, I personally going into it, I was like hoping that it was longer, and um, I, I got kind of excited. So it's your fault. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Just, it's yeah. definitely my fault that it's super long. Like, <laughs> um, but no. Uh, at the so something about this album that was like interesting about it was the rollout <laughs> for it. Um, there were three listening parties held for it, um, two of which were in. Atlanta, and the last one was in Chicago. Um, but at the first listening party, um, I think the, the album was like 40-ish minutes. And I was like, okay, I think that's a good length. It's longer than the other one, or it's longer than the last two, but it's not like super long. Um, and then that second and third listening party came around, and the album was like... It was almost two hours. I think I think the album is almost it's, it's pushing an hour fifty, um, and that's yeah. Just, I think I think forty minutes is like considered the standard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Which, I mean, again, I don't mind. You know, I I love the Beatles, and the White Album is very long, um, but I don't sit and listen to that all in one go. Uh, like I still have to take breaks um, but especially for us too we uh, like the last album that we reviewed that got published was uh, Okay Human by Weezer and most Weezer albums I think like you can listen to just in the span of making eggs in the morning for breakfast <laughs> um, so this this was a lot I was telling Toby I have more notes for this singular album than I think all of the other ones put together. Yeah. Um, so, and I think it's funny that we have all these notes and yet we barely talked about the music, which I think is the problem 
maybe not one of a problem, but one of the caveats when you start talking about Kanye is because he's so there's so much of him. <laughs> yeah. Process. There's a lot to go through. Um. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna hand this off to Thomas. Why don't you start with like if we're going sort of through the album? Yeah. All right. So my first thoughts of the album. Uh, I I liked it. I was kind of shook when I saw that it dropped at like 8 a.m. on a Sunday and I thought like some Instagram account was messing with me. But so I go, I check it out and I really like it. The I listened to two of the listening parties and so I kind of had formed some opinions on it, but my favorite my favorite thing and the thing that I pay the most attention to is the production because I'm sort of involved with music production and that's probably what I know the most about when it comes to music. And I like the production a lot. It's very synth heavy and I think it sounds pretty unique. He has like his kind of like co-producer and partner Mike Dean and he released an album around the same time and it sounds a lot similar to Donda in terms of production. It's very it's very minimal, but at the same time I think it sounds pretty futuristic and that's what I liked about it a lot. My favorite song which was Hurricane and that's the one that I think has the best replay value. I think this is like the third version of it because there is there's been like a lot of leak versions, but I really like this one a lot and I'm a big fan of the production and I think I don't listen to Lil Baby a lot or like a lot of mumble rappers, but I think he delivered a really solid verse for sure. Yeah, Hurricane was definitely a really good song. Um it was one that I was personally looking forward to a lot as someone who follows Kanye because of I, I feel like Hurricane was what hooked a lot of people on um Yandi going into it yeah. which was like the unreleased Kanye album from 2018 um so I was like really excited that it was on here I uh, it's definitely one of the best tracks on here um but like overall I <laughs> And I guess this changes a lot. I had, like, in my original notes, which I actually haven't gone back and changed yet, that I, I really liked it. I'm not really feeling that anymore. I actually don't like it all that much. Um, you don't like the new Hurricane? Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the um, album as a whole. Um, <gasps> oh. Yeah, yeah. I just think, as we were talking about earlier, it's just way too bloated. Um... And I don't think that it has, like, a good concept to back it up. It kind of just feels like a compilation of Kanye tracks. Um, and I don't really know how I feel about that. And not only is it just, does it just feel like a bunch of, uh, like, a compilation of Kanye tracks, it also sounds like a compilation of unfinished Kanye tracks. Um, yeah, I agree. Which is kind of, unfortunately, it's kind of a trend recently. Uh, Jesus is King. I think that that's easily his worst album to date. Um, and I think a big reason for that was because a lot of the songs in there felt unfinished. So it's kind of disappointing that that trend is carried over into this album. It's it's something that that I don't really understand because there there's a lot of mixing issues and a lot of clipping and I feel like like he last teased this album around I think it was like a year ago maybe a year and a half ago yeah and he's been working on Hurricane for three years and I'm like how is it still not mixed right yeah like I just I feel like like it's not the easiest thing to do. But, you know, any any good producer, especially not arguably the greatest producer of all time, like you would think that they would know how to fix the missing issue, mixing issues. Yeah. And like, actually, for me, I think that Hurricane was one of the more finished sounding tracks on here. Um, yeah, I agree. 
but even then, it still has a lot of issues. Uh, uh, Owen, did you, did you want to talk about that? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so immediately I'm going to hurt some people's feelings. Um, I have in my notes quote, I can't tell if the weekend adds to or subtracts to this song. I was distracted by Lil baby's sloppy flow. Um, so, um, I think now that you guys, that you said something about the production, because again, I have multiple times that it kind of, it sounds like a mess um and i like again i i don't necessarily mind that in certain contexts i think if you have something like as a whole if you go into it saying hey guys this is gonna sound like a mess um but it's gonna sound like a mess throughout i think tracks like this where the production still does feel good it feels like a pop song you would hear on the radio and i think the weekend definitely does add to that because he is all over the radio um and his voice is like identifiable in a second that's one of the things i noticed about this album is none of the songs are it's not hurricane parentheses featuring the weekend it's just hurricane but you still know that the weekend is on it um yeah but yeah i think when you have that juxtaposed with um a song like junya am i even saying that right oh uh, yeah uh, junya oh Junya. Yeah, yeah, you're right that i it like those aren't side by side but like jesus that was the song where i had to be like i'm taking a break i'm this is the <laughs> most i'm listening today yeah um, <laughs> I, I, there's some high points and there's some low points mm-hmm. for me. I, yeah, I, I think. I th- and at the risk of sounding kind of stupid, when did that Poop Diddy Scoop song come out? That was 2018, oh, like right before Yay yeah, came yeah. out. Okay, because that also sounded like garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I think I thought the beat was good. Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely the was beat, like the beat was cold. It was the beat. <laughs> this is off topic, but like the, my the beat episode was already. the beat. The beat was like it was. It sounded good on paper, but just just sounded. It was way too bare bones. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, I think I think an issue. Another issue is like. I know Owen said that there were a lot of high points on it, and, and those definitely stood out to me. Um, but the other ones, there's just one. There's just some bad tracks on here, and yeah, the uh, and the ones that don't stand out are just like so boring. <laughs> like that's the thing too. Is like I was having a conversation with my friends yesterday. And we were talking about how many, how many skips in a ten-song album before it stops being a good album. <laughs> so, like, the question is, in a two-hour album, how many skips does it take before it stops being a good album? And I, I genuinely don't know. Right. Uh, and the thing about this album, though, is. I say there are a lot of high points. I don't mean there are a lot of good songs. There are a lot of high points within songs where the rest of the song is not good. Yeah, I I definitely agree with that. And I think that another problem with that is that a lot of those high points on the album rarely are from Kanye. (laughs) Uh, Like, you look at Jail, for example, which I think is a good song, but... Jay Z is what you remember from Jail, not Kanye. And yes, but I, but he okay. So I went into Jail. I mean, so I didn't know what this album was about before I started listening to it. Um, so I was really confused by Donda Chant. <laughs> Having gone back and listened to it, knowing what it is, um, I think it's really cool. Um, but going into jail, I was like, all right, this is the first legit song. Here we go. Um, it, the beat is great. I would like the song to start sooner. Um, and then Jay-Z comes in and I was like, oh, is that Jay-Z? And he sounds like he's a guest on Sesame Street. Like, why is he not? This is arguably one of the best rappers 
of all time. And it just, it sounds so elementary to me. Like, I wasn't super impressed by his verse either. I don't, I don't think he delivered a lot of groundbreaking stuff. I mean, I agree that that's what you remember from that track. And I mean, he's very, he's been doing this for a while. I don't know how much ground there is left to break for him, but like, I don't know. I was, I was underwhelmed. Um, but I agree though. I did remember Jay Z off that track. Yeah. Maybe maybe that out maybe that track wasn't as good of an example as I thought it was. Maybe Is this like, whole episode gonna be like, man, maybe we don't know what we're talking about. It's it's definitely possible. <laughs> I I think the worst the worst song like the worst actual song is television. Oh, that's the one with pop smoke on it. And when I first heard it, I thought that the I thought that my speaker broke. <laughs> it just sounds. I was like, because I was I was doing my homework, so I, I was kind of like zoned out from the music. And then it gets to that song, and I like run to my speaker, and I'm like, is it okay? Like, is it dying? <laughs> because it just it's it just sounds like it was mixed on like a toaster or that someone wasn't paying attention to it because like it just sounds terrible and he, okay and like another thing about that track is i i wouldn't know like too much about this i, I don't know if Ta- how much thomas listens to pop smoke i i don't know about owen either but i don't you know i think thomas is more likely to listen to pop smoke than Owen is but um, hey that's true but. <laughs> um but like wasn't that song literally just from a pop smoke song that like just came out yeah and, yeah and the pop smoke song is is mixed fine yeah it, it, but <laughs> exactly that's that's where i was going with this is like he just took a clip from a pop smoke <laughs> song and made it sound like it was like a crappy pirated mp3 file from like yeah 2000 yeah. from like the 2000s it just sounds I don't, horrible i don't understand i don't under, because because he probably he probably produced that pop smoke song, and I'm, it, I, I don't understand how it sounds bad. Like he could have just, like he, like he probably could have just pirated it, and it would sound better than what it was. <laughs> and I will say, I, I will say, I have listened to Pop Smoke um, since uh, he died, um, right? Because he died, right? Yeah. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Okay. I, I was worried for a second. I was like, did I just say something really dumb? Um, but I, I've listened to his stuff, and it, it from what I've heard, it's really good. Like, I like a lot of his songs. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm honestly, here's the thing is I'm struggling to remember what song this is because all of my notes got so blended. Like, the last third of this album, I think... I deleted a lot of the notes that I had because they were just so similar similar to each other and I didn't want to like repeat myself. Um, so I'm like, I, I don't disagree with you. Um, I remember it enough to remember what it sounds like a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I just have nothing really to contribute other than that I think Pop Smoke is genuinely a talented guy. Um, and this song sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> something something that I also noticed, um, or at least I think I noticed, was on the vocals, on Pop Smoke's vocals, it sounds like the original drum beat was there. Like, he just ripped the original song. And it's like... Dude, <laughs> couldn't you have just gotten the isolated vocals? Didn't you work no, it's, on the it's song? It's like when you record, uh, or you go into YouTube because uh, you're like 10 and you want to put your own vocals over a song that already exists. So you type like, beat it instrumental into YouTube. And it's just this like, some guy just took out the lead vocals but the background vocals are still in it mm-hmm. so it's like yeah. it's so that's what it sounds like mm-hmm. that's thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ I think I don't know I think I have written down um I didn't mind believe me when I say that song um oh yeah that was um that was my uh 
favorite song on here. Yeah, and I think it though it also had... believe what I say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> but um I I it might have one of the meanest things in my notes, which is I listened to this while making pizza. It's my favorite song. Maybe this is just better as background music question mark. Um, Cause I was paying much less attention during that song than the rest of the ones following and before it. So I was like, Oh no, what if this is actually not great? And it's just because I'm not listening to it. No, no, no. no. I, I can, I okay. can confirm it's, it's great. Okay. <laughs> the, um, yeah. It's just so groovy. Like the bass line really sounds good. so sick. The Warren Hill sample is used really well. Kanye sounds really good. Um, I think the only problem that I have with it is the outro, which I don't have any problem with the like what's like being said in the outro. Uh, it's just like I kind of wish that it was shorter, or maybe that the song itself was longer. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, this is probably my favorite song on here. I do have some issues with some of the outros on these songs, though. Like Remote Control. Oh. Why is the Mago Gabga Lab thing in here? Why? <laughs> um, man. He killed, I, he killed okay. the, the Glob, Glob, whatever his name is. He killed yeah. his verse, though. <laughs> <laughs> He dropped the fire verse on that track. track. (laughs) Owen, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite song? I think you would believe me when I say, um, I that was the one where I was like, okay, this cohesively sounds the best. Like again, there are points in other songs that I like more, Hmm. but just the rest of the song, um, like I'm trying to find it now. Uh, off the grid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the hook for that song is disgusting. <laughs> whoa, whoa, st- uh, whoa, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Owen thought he was going to curate this uh, the argument for this episode, but I, I'll take this one. <laughs> I, I think, I think, I think the highest. One, okay, one of the highest points on the album is off the grid and in specific five years verse i i agree with that that's what i was gonna say was the Be- highest point. because in the in the the thing is is that like i i had no idea who five year was and so naturally i was kind of a hater like oh, why is this dude on the album and then bro starts rapping like his life depends on it like, <laughs> yeah like and I, over like, like a over I like a part of verse I've, like so that. from what I've heard, this guy's material in the past has been, like, really mixed. But then he just, like, does great on this, like, <laughs> drill beat. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sorry. I, I don't want to... Uh, uh, let's get back to you guys' argument over the the, co- the hook on <laughs> off the grid here. Yeah, I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to go through this and prove to you that I'm right. Okay. Chorus, Kanye West. We off the grid, grid, grid. This for my kid, kid, kid. For when my kid, kid, kids have kids. Everything we did for the crib. No one needs to say the word kid that many times um, in succession. Um, I, just think it's, I just think it's juxtaposed with, okay, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but Playboy Cardi feels very out of place here. Um, but the other two verses, Kanye's and Fabio's, those were great. And the chorus, just, I don't like it. Like, I feel like they could have put, maybe they just wrote that last and they were lyrically spent. And they were just like, um, yeah, just repeat the same word again no I do it a fourth time I do it a fifth time um but yeah not to say that like I hate that track which I don't that was one of my favorites I just it started off and I cringed uh yeah I I get where Owen's coming from I don't personally have like a big problem with the off the grid chorus I don't think it's like great or anything um but here's my question are the lyrics in the off the grid chorus as bad as 
the the um what's what's the line uh, uh hang on <laughs> one second i'm gonna look this up <laughs> is it in the same song i it's, have it, a it, it's in the same song uh oh is it uh, he, he says like I'm playing soccer in my backyard. That, I yeah. think I see Messi. Yeah, that was I a talk to God every day. <laughs> that was a bad. Messi. That was a bad line too. That, that was one. That was a bad line. The Messi line was bad. I think that the. Um, <laughs> let's see what we got here. Whoa. Yeah, that was gross. Um, wow. The, I talk. The, I talk to. Oh. E- I talk to God every day. That's my bestie. Yeah. I think that that was worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I did like the, um, the part of the end where he says, some say Adam could never be black because a black man will never share his rib. I thought that was a pretty genius line. Yes. Um, which that kind of redeemed the chorus for me a bit. I even though that's more like a bridge, but speaking of bad lines, it, uh, going to hurricane though. Oh, the hurts. No, line. no, no, no. I, I know this one. <laughs> This is this was the main. If I say the words architectural digest, are you gonna explode? Yeah. Oh, that, I forgot yeah. about that one. I thought you were gonna talk about that. Everybody hurts, but I don't judge Reynolds. Line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but this line, architectural digest, but I needed home improvement. I just wrote really. That's such a smart line. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, because because I, one of the one of the big themes that Kanye is trying to portray in this album is his instability in his home, instability and in his in his house is on Architecture Digest, but he's not talking about the house itself. He's talking about his home life needs improvement. Oh, okay. You're right. But does that make it a good line? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I because I, I remember when I like was first listening to that, I was like, "Wow!" Fair it enough, just feels so like there's no emotion behind it. Um, I think in this because so praise God is the song that's next, and I'm not saying this is a great uh, song or anything, but. There's passion in that song that Hurricane is lacking. And I think that might just be because of my slight dislike of The Weeknd, because all of his stuff sounds very, like, cut and dry. Um, Or a lot of his stuff sounds a little cut and dry. But uh, not to say that they're not bad lines in Praise God. I wrote... They just said, bada the bada the boom, I bada the boom, I bada the bing, <laughs> like a sting lyric. And um, I, I, I did not like that part. So, uh, like, speaking of that, like, I, I think I like Baby Keem. Yeah. I don't like him here. <laughs> I don't think he sounds very good here. <laughs> um, that, like, super auto-tuned like high pitched part I could go without if you know what I'm talking about. Um Yeah. But, yeah, no no thank you. <laughs> there are a lot of features on this album. Does Kanye have like DJ Khaled syndrome? <laughs> I I think I I don't know. I think he's like in the past he's always been like very good at placing his features though. <laughs> Okay, because one of the ones I want to shout out is in Jonah. Vori really wants to be Post Malone, like really bad. Um, yeah, no, I think um, I, I heard at like the one of the original listening parties, um, they said that that song was played and they everyone thought it was Post Malone. I, I had to check. I was like, whoa, wait, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That line, that or not that line, but that song has juxtaposition of vocals for me too. Because the "Hope They Got Headphones Up in Heaven" line, I love that line. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but then whole lot of steppers and they step in, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I. This just kind of just hammers home the point of I don't know if there are that many like 
totally good songs. Like if they took out the good bits and made a compilation of those, it would still probably sound like Donda as a whole, but it would be better and it would be shorter. And I think more people would pay attention to more of it. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. After Jonah is okay, okay. And I thought that sounded good. I, I liked how that sounded. Um, I will say, we talked about in the Joji bit, uh, our good friend Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Showed up there. Um, and he gets completely overshadowed by the charisma whoa. of Kanye West. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Okay. I just... <laughs> I'm not saying he's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, I remember Kanye's stuff more. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm fired. Don't fire me. <sighs> no, you're, you're fired. No, you're I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> kick, him, kick him out. So, um, I, I'm, first of all, for the, the beat on OK, OK, I, I don't like the beat on OK, OK. Mm. I just think it sounds lazy. Um, just like uninspired. Uh, but I actually think that Lil Yachty was the best part of Okay Okay. I don't really like the song overall, but I think Lil Yachty gives a good verse. Um, yeah, I, I like I like Lil Yachty here, which it's like I don't like Lil Yachty, <laughs> uh, but like Lil Yachty. Is good. <laughs> Will Yachty, if you're listening, come on the podcast. Yeah, we'll we'll gladly have uh we'll gladly have Will Yachty on here. I get while we're on the subject. Hey, Kanye, if you're listening, uh, you can come too. Yeah, yeah that for sure. please. That'd be pretty cool. Um, with the weekend and pretty much everyone else who's on here, really. And you the, can come this, on. this extends to like past episodes too. I wouldn't mind hanging out with Taylor Swift and Weezer and Joji. Um, no, Sufi so might see. not show up. He might have better things to do. Um, but <laughs> we could I, get him on here. That would be very special. If Rivers Cuomo would show up, Sufi and Stevens would show up. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think uh, OK OK has a good line at the very end. Um, the most of these, I have dot dot dot. I think it might have been a swear that I cut out. Uh, most of these ain't real. They don't want to see me winning. And that was one where I kind of thought that there might be some underlying meaning behind that, because a lot of the reasons that Kanye is famous now, I mean, he's still continuously been making music. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like the Rolling Stones where they've kind of given up making new stuff, but like a lot of people are just focused on the drama that he creates and like, I thought it might have been a reference to his fan base. Like, they're not actually real people who want to follow his music and stuff. They just want to see him do something stupid or obnoxious or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, and then the next, and the next song was Junior, and I said, "Good Lord, I'm taking a break." <laughs> um, so, uh, I, I'd actually like to point out something that you said. So, uh, you said that you uh, took something out because you thought it was a swear on your notes. Um, mm-hmm. That's actually not true because there's no swearing on this album. Uh, oh, wow. It's actually really? a space, probably, because there wasn't anything that he said. Um, yeah. <laughs> huh. Now I have to look up what it actually was that I cut out. Well, it's probably, like, yeah. You can do that. <laughs> but... Um, uh, the um oh yeah I'm not I can't I'm not saying that. yeah I, that, I I knew what it was I was just gonna <laughs> um but like um so we didn't there wasn't any swearing on Jesus is King either um but th- here I think it's like a lot more noticeable because there were there was swearing in like the original verses but they were censored out um and it I don't think that sounds it doesn't sound very good because it just sounds like it, it's just like empty space and yeah I, 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 I don't really know 
how I feel about that. Like, it's like, if you don't want to do swearing on your album, that's fine. Like, I, that's not going to affect my thoughts on it, obviously. But it, if you're going to yeah, do that, that you music it. unless you say the F word every other word. Right, it just sounds awkward. So it's like, if you're going to not have swearing, that's fine, but tell people that. <laughs> oh, I was make, completely making a joke. I would like some of the best music out there doesn't have swearing. I, I, although I think it would be hilarious if like Beethoven just got up halfway through the fifth symphony or whatever. He's like, <laughs> ah! um, I think that would make classical music a whole lot better. If the, the, the composer just got up out of the seat and just like <laughs> screamed into the microphone. Spit like a six or, nine style verse. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I feel like someone needs to make that, but um, yeah, I, I I didn't actually notice that, um, which is interesting. Um, but uh, I think I'm probably another, sure. That, oh, you go ahead. I, mean, I was I was saying I know I've said I have like five different favorite songs. But another one of my favorite songs was No Child Left Behind. Mm-hmm. And I wanted I wanted to get your guys' opinion on that because it's not like a... It, it doesn't even have a lot of replay value because it's just some dude, I don't even know who it is, just saying, like, No Child Left Behind. And then there's a little verse. But I think from, like, how complete it sounds it and from a production standpoint, it's, it's one of the, like, the better sounding songs and it sounds excellent to me yeah I, I I definitely agree with that I think um it's a good it's like it's a great sounding song um but I don't think that there's like enough substance to it to be like this is like going on my playlist or whatever it's a really good outro um yeah I think I that there's I think that there's a lot of moments on here like that and I think that they were personally highlights for me like I think uh, 24 was another one of those. I think 24 is a great track. Um, everything just sounds really good. The choir sounds... I think the choir sounds really good, even though they're, like, distorted to sound, like, not good, but I think that they fit really well. Uh, I think, um... To a degree, Moon is also like that. Like, it's not really the same thing, because there's more substance to that track than something like no child left behind or 24 but it's a, it's a good like I, I don't even want to say interlude but like kind of a transitional track um, or like yeah, a breather I track agree. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah I, I agree I think I think I think I actually I completely forgot about Moon mm-hmm. but I think that that is one of the better sounding songs too but what did you what did you guys think of of West Side Gun and Conway um, <laughs> I think uh, I think Kanye or Conway sounded really good I, I like West Side Gun I could see him being kind of polarizing on a track like that for a lot of people if they hadn't like listened to West Side Gun before I don't yeah. think that I think that West Side Gun's ad libs on that track sounded really bad though <laughs> like yeah, I was, I, I was I listening it. to it um, before we started recording. I'm like, man, this is not. These ad libs are just not it. Like he's like <laughs> spitting like an actual serious verse, and then you just have him going skirt in the background. It just does not sound good. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Remix. <laughs> I I thought it was I thought it was funny because it was the second listening party, which. Yeah, that, I think that was the first one I listened to. It was the second listening party, and my mom was next to me. And my mom hates West Side Gun because I always used to play him in the car. <laughs> and and then I just remember hearing him on the song, and I was like, "What is going on?" And I didn't I didn't think that he really delivered anything substantial, but I thought it was it was cool to hear it. Yeah, and see what they've come from. Yeah, I think it's I think it's great that. Kanye is highlighting these like underground new like underground rappers uh yeah um I think 
here's one of the thoughts that was I have two, I guess, closing thoughts. Um, one is I don't know if you guys listen to you guys know who Danny Elfman is, right? He's yeah. the guy who does all the music for Tim Burton's movies yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah. He put out a solo album. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I okay, so I think one of the things that I ha- I've had to realize is more music needs to be like critiqued as an experience rather than like an album. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause that album, I mean, it's called big mess and it was a big mess, but like, I like that album. I thought it was pretty well done. Um, and again, this one too, I think to call it an album would probably be a disservice in all honesty. Um, because I mean, w- throughout all of the unfinished tracks or whatever, like it's it's not. They definitely put thought into at least the majority of the songs. Um, like I think just having heard past Kanye songs, I don't think he's going into the studio unaware that these songs sound bad. I think he's just like, oh, whatever. Um, and the last thing I wrote down, this is a slightly separate thought, but I will say, even if I don't like this album as a whole, Drake would have made it so much worse. <laughs> so if you take Donda and give it to Drake, it would have sucked. <laughs> um, because I, at least Kanye knows how to entertain. Like, he is a very good personality to focus your attention on because he's entertaining. And I think that's, you know, we haven't talked about that, that new Drake album. Um, Let's just not do that. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't like it. And I think (laughs) I do genuinely think if this were given to someone like Drake, it would just have not been good. Um, So that's a testament to Kanye, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Come at me, Drake. You're not invited to the podcast hangout. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not true, Drake. Not that's not true, Drake. Okay, all right. You can <laughs> make a good album, all right, and then. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, so I think my my closing thoughts here are: this album, it's for me at least, it's gonna be remembered more for the rollout behind it and like yeah. everyone talking about it I I feel like it's been like a minute since we've had like an album that everyone's kind of come around and been like whoa did you hear this album um like Taylor like Taylor Swift's folklore last year was like almost there but it's like been a minute since we've had an album like that like that's been this big call me if you get lost call me if you get lost even then I don't think it was like this I think this is even bigger (laughs) Do you mean do you mean like do you mean like have you heard this like like very good or like just like a polarizing album that everybody just like does? any album not necessarily like good. <laughs> well, I think I think or at least in my circle, everybody knew about Certified Lover Boy, unfortunately. But well, yeah, but I, I mean like yeah, I think uh, like that was another one that was like like that as well. But I mean just like before because this album came out before Certified Lover Boy. Yeah, that's but, true. I think even when Tyler the Creator dropped earlier this year, like there was a lot of hype for it, but I I don't remember everybody talking about it. Like, right? Hey, have you heard this? Right. That that's what I'm saying. Um, like, and I think a lot of that does have to do with the marketing because you know, folklore was announced with like four hours until its release. Mm-hmm. Um. And I mean, Taylor Swift and Kanye West fan base, I'm sure they overlap a little bit, but um, yeah. And like in my circle, it was a lot of, you know, when OK Human came out, it was like, oh, Weezer's put out a good album. Yeah. Have you heard it? It's pretty good. But it wasn't like on a global scale of guys, Weezer put out a new album. Yeah. Uh, but this is, was like, uh, like, I hadn't even heard about any of the publicity and I opened Instagram one day and I was just like, oh, wow. Okay. 
Like, um, I, I think that for this album, it's been like any other, it's been unlike any other album that we've like covered because <laughs> unlike some of the other stuff I'm that we've scared covered, for it to get published that I think like people are going to beat me up. Right. It's like <laughs> we've like gotten like requests to cover this album. Um, no other album. Like I've been in the school bathrooms and then a group of boys will just come in going, Donda, 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 Donda. And I'll be like, leave me alone when I'm trying to use the bathroom. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Thomas, do you have anything, like, really quick? We have four minutes. Until Eight out of cool. ten. Or call. Friends out. Eight out of ten. Hmm? Wow. Wow. Eight out of ten? No, 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 no. Seven out of ten. Okay. All right. <laughs> you just got <laughs> to drop in your score. <laughs> Toby yeah. was just like, "Oh, wow." <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe maybe too high, too radical. Yeah, I feel like after we ripped on this album, just give, just give it an eight out of ten. <laughs> I guess if we're dropping, score, I guess if we're dropping scores, I'm feeling like a five, five. No. No, no, no. I'll, I'll balance it out. I was going to say six. All right. Okay, that's that's okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you approve. Uh, I'll, ex- I'll accept that. Okay. Anyone? Final this words or forever hold your peace on Donda. My, my final words is that it was a pleasure to be a guest here. Thank you for coming on, Tom. Yeah, that was, that was great. All right. All right. Uh, hi, this is Editor Toby coming on. And uh, as I was going through editing this, I realized that we did not record an outro for this episode. Um, and so I just wanted to hop on here really quick and tell you thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you're looking for more stuff from our student, for the Walnut Hills High School student journalists, uh, you should go on to whhscbox.com. Uh, thank you so much to Thomas for joining us. Uh, and uh, we hope you enjoyed listening to it. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, bye, guys.